So I want to take a moment to talk about Diamante, which, yes, that's a poster I saw in my room. We finally got there. So, <laughs> but her name, according to Wikipedia, is Diamante Azura Bovelli, and she was born on September 7th, 1996. She's just known as Diamante, and she is an American singer and songwriter. And she was born in Massachusetts. Yeah, she was born in Boston, Massachusetts. A lot of this is not her Spotify discography, at least. Like her like info bio thing just says Buckle Rock of like a diamond, which I think is really cool. But um, you might have heard her from Bad Wolf's single um, "Hear Me Now," which was in the 2018 album. I think that's how I found out about her. I could be wrong though. But that was also, um, Hear Me Now was also part of the Bad Wolves debut, debut album, Disobey. Which, that, that album actually reached one on active radio, and she toured with Breaking Benjamin before the promoter album coming in hot. There we go. I don't know why I had a massive rain spot. I even wear it like a multiple times. It still had a massive rain spot. But yeah, her 2017 single was Haunted. And her debut album, Coming in Hot, was released under Better Noise Records on June 15, 2018. So some songs that stuck out to me were 1987, which is her newest single. And it was released on November 10th of 2023. Her other newest single was Roadhouse Blues, which was released on October 20th, 2013 with the voices of with the voices of Robbie Krieger and the Black Woods, which for me it depends on the day of that song. Like some days I like it, some days I just don't care more about what I <laughs> basically it depends on the day with that song to me. And her other news album is Diamond Covers which was released on October 2018, 2022. And my favorite songs from that specific cover co that specific cover album were Maniac, Dancing on My Own, Dancing on My Own, Paparazzi, Like a Player, and Running Up That Hill. I probably had running on running up that hill on repeat. Like at first when it came out I was like mm, it's not eh. But then I listened to it when it came out I was like and then when and then I listened to it when it came out and I was just like, hmm, it's not bad. So her next single is American Dream, which is different from the one that's on the American Dream American Dream the album, which I wish this one was on the album because it 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 features the voice of Lip. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but when I listened to this song, I was like why wasn't this on the album? Like, I love songs that have both the female POV and, like, the male POV, kind of, if that makes any sense. Like, I love when, like, songs are both, like, and this totally, like, represents that very well. And it was released on February 18, 2022. Like, I just, the voice, the male voice is just perfect for this song. Like, I can't help it. So... The next album is American Dream, and it came out on May 7th, 2021. I personally have a lovable I Love Myself for Hating You, and I was which is a cover song cover song of the Goo Goo Dolls, I think. But the one with, the one Diamante sings features um, Breaking Benjamin, and I just have that song on repeat a lot, and... So, like, in Spotify, there's, like, sort of video, like, if with specific songs, there's, like, video instead of just the album cover. Is it just me, or does Breaking Benjamin look aggressive? <laughs> like, just on the mic, like, like, <laughs> I just feel like he's just aggressive in that specific video, but I could be wrong. <laughs> and her debut album, her first full album is, first album is Coming In Hard, which was released on June 15, 2018. And my favorite songs from that album were Sound of Us, Had Enough, Fight Like a Girl, F-L-A-G, Haunted, Sleepwalking, Bulletproof, Black Heart, 
Definitely not in love. And will cry. I love zombies, but Black Heart has an acoustic that came out in on October 12, 2018. And I love both the acoustic and the original version of the song personally. And this, yeah. We talked about Hear Me Now, but that's a Dear Monty's debut sort of single. And just, yeah, I that song gives romantic sort of vibes to me. I don't know why, it just does. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Stream 1987. Do it. It's everywhere, and it's awesome. I love the vibes. So yeah.